hi everyone today we're going to be making a cake so as you can see I have an example right here where I have three layers of my cake those are called tiers so we are going to make a three-dimensional cake where it looks like it's coming out of the page it's not just flat we want to make it look real so everyone's going to start by grabbing whatever materials they're using to draw with and we're going to start at the top of our page I'm going to leave a little bit of room so I can add candles if I want to. And I'm going to start by making a sideways oval, which is also called an ellipse. I'm going to add a straight line on either side of my ellipse. So it looks like it has legs. Then I'm going to connect my two lines, but not with a straight line across. See how this line right here is a little bit curved? So I'm going to make a really tiny smile and have a curved line. And that is the first part of our cake. You could even just make one large cake by doing this drawing really big on your page. So I wanna add more layers though. So I am going to start a little bit higher than the edge of my straight line and make another ellipse another sideways oval. So I'm just gonna bring it around and connect it to the other side. And it kind of looks like it's a cake with a plate on the bottom, but we are going to keep adding more layers because I want a nice tall cake. So I'm gonna do the same thing as the top layer. I'm going to add two straight lines on either side and then a curved line to connect them. And then I'm gonna add one more layer. So I'm going to add a sideways oval or an ellipse. And then again, two straight lines. And I'm going to connect them with a curved line. So a really tiny smile. So here I have my cake. If you guys want, you can add designs or decorations. I know some cakes have a lot of frosting. So if you wanted to add some nice frosting layers to each layer of your cake, you could. You could add candles at the top. You can really decorate this however you want and use it for a birthday celebration or Mother's Day, Father's Day, any celebration you want. So I'm just gonna add some candles at the top and I might even add a little bit of yellow to represent the flame the top of our candle and when you're finished drawing your cake you want to color the whole thing so I am using watercolor but you can use any materials you want to color your cake so if I'm using watercolor, I just want to remind everyone, we have our watercolor. We have a cup of water and a brush. So we dip it in. We might want to get rid of some of the water. We don't want too much. And we want to do little circles in our watercolor palette. We don't want to scoop it out. We just want to do little circles. And we can start painting. If we add more water, it will be a lighter purple. If we add less water, it'll be a darker color. So everyone is going to paint their whole cake. And if you wanted, you could even paint the background. So right here, I have an example of my finished piece where I painted my whole page and it looks like my cake is a real cake that